You ever wondered if there's a right way to play League of Legends? Or whether Doublelift has some secret setting that just allows him to land skills? Or are you using mouse settings that make it easier or harder to play the game? Or maybe you've just unboxed a mouse and you're wondering what settings you should be using to get the maximum out of it. In this video, we're going to find out. We'll be comparing a bunch of different pro players and the settings they use to see what the best League of Legends players in the world prefer when it comes to mouse settings, mouse placement, and camera. Hi, my name is Raisins. I am an ex-pro and a high elo player on Europe West. I make educational League of Legends videos, and if you want to see more, then hit the subscribe button and check out my other videos. Before we get started, I need to make something clear. You can absolutely climb with lower quality gear or suboptimal settings. I've seen players climb with <laughs> shocking equipment, and they usually do it through sheer force of will. So don't feel like you have to go out of your way and buy the latest equipment just to be like Faker. The biggest gains will come from your gameplay rather than your equipment, as long as your gear isn't actively getting in the way of you playing. Let's get the easy stuff out of the way first. When it comes to newer players or people who haven't changed their settings much, locked camera is one that comes up a lot. This is when your camera moves around with you as you move your character and its default key is bound to Y. There is a small handful of people who play with locked camera in high elo, However, pretty much no pro players use lock camera at all. The reason being it's very restrictive at a higher level when you should be using the minimap and your F keys to scan the map and keep an eye out on other lanes. My advice is to unlock your camera even if it feels horrible at first. You'll thank me down the line when you are much more aware of what happens on the map. There are a couple more settings which I should quickly go over under the camera lock mode. First is the fixed offset, which is the standard setting where pressing spacebar or Y sticks to your champion at the center of your screen. Then there's semi-locked camera, which allows you to move the camera around as long as your character is still on screen. So you're essentially playing locked camera with a slightly larger area that you can see at any time. If you're really struggling with camera control, I would recommend this to newer players as a way of not losing track of your champion, but uh, try to lose this eventually. And then finally, there is per side offset, which places your character on one side of the screen relative to what side of the map you're playing on. The point is to give you a better view of what's in front of you on the enemy side of the map. I actually noticed that I had this enabled, but frankly, I wouldn't worry that much about it, just pick your preference. Now for the big one, DPI. Firstly, what is DPI? Well, DPI stands for dots per linear inch and is the way your mouse decides how fast to move the pointer relative to the movement on your mouse pad. So a higher DPI means you can move your mouse less to get the same movement from your cursor. This is extremely important when it comes to your setup and general playing habits because you'll be making a lot of movements with your mouse. So reducing the stress on your hand will allow you to game for longer with less risk of injuring yourself. But not only that, if you play certain types of games, you might need to change your DPI as the game might demand a specific type of movement. FPSs are a great example of games which require extreme precision in clicking, but not so much spamming, whereas League requires a lot more inputs per second to keep your character moving, but less precision overall. There are three ways of changing your DPI. Number one, the Windows mouse setting. I would not recommend changing the DPI here. Number two, your mouse software, if your mouse comes with software. And and number three, in-game settings for specific programs. So things like League of Legends is mouse setting. Most gaming mice nowadays come with software that lets you control how much DPI your mouse has and can even be changed on the fly or have profiles for different games. But you have to keep in mind that all three of these settings interact with each other. So you can't know much about what someone else's sensitivity is unless you have both their DPI and their in-game setting. Most people keep the Windows settings on default. And one additional thing is resolution. If you have a massive monitor, then your DPI might need to be different and vice versa if you have a very small monitor or play in windowed mode, which some of the pros we're about to talk about do. Before we dive into that, there is a devious evil setting lurking in windows, hell bent on screwing you over. That's a good old mouse acceleration. If you go into your windows mouse settings and click on additional mouse option under pointer options, you'll find this bad boy. It's called enhanced pointer precision. And boy, do you want to know about it before you sink thousands of hours into a game and develop muscle memory. What it does is counterintuitive and despite the name often reduces pointer precision. And worst of all, it's enabled by default on a lot of Windows devices. Long story short, what this does is add another variable to how far your cursor moves on screen. Usually only the distance you physically move your mouse affects that. But with this wacky setting enabled, it takes into account the distance and the speed at which you move your mouse and it changes the DPI on the fly. This is not ideal for muscle memory or being precise in game. The setting is useful on cheap setups where the mouse maybe doesn't have good sensitivity, but I'll summarize it by saying just disable this. You will thank me later. I know I'm about to have someone message me saying, but, but Faker and Teddy use mouse acceleration. And my answer to that is sometimes you are in too deep and you can't go back. Save yourself the hassle and don't use mouse acceleration. So I found this excellent post by Reddit user Nano Nin Nan Nano, nano this guy. 
which compiled a massive list of pro player mouse settings for League. And it's worth a look, link in the description. And some interesting things I took from it are that League players use on average much higher DPI than FPS players who are almost all under 1000 DPI, some a lot lower than that. League, like I mentioned, isn't really a precision based game. It requires a lot of constant back and forth clicking, which if you had super low DPI would be quite harsh on your forearm. We got most people using 50 in-game mouse sensitivity, but then Rookie over here chilling with his 6,000 DPI, although he has his in-game at 15, which balances it out quite a bit. Some of you may remember Kurt from the EU LCS rocking a trackball while playing pro. Never seen that before, I guess, but uh, I guess that's also an option. Some players seem to have DPIs, which they haven't changed from their out-of-the-box mice. I remember my first gaming mouse had a DPI of 3,500 out-the-box, and I just never bothered to change it for ages. Only when I tried to play FPSs did I realize how insane that DPI is. Jensen rocking the 530 DPI, one of the lowest on the list, despite him playing on full screen and one of the more mechanical roles in League mid lane. I found that really interesting. Uh, if you look at his pro view and compare it to someone else with much higher DPI like showmaker who's sitting at 2500 dpi and 100 in game you can see just how twitchy showmaker's mouse movements are compared to jensen jensen uses his arm to move his mouse with smooth movements and showmaker uses his wrist with fast flicking movements and i've been on both ends and i think my wrist hurts just watching showmaker stream perks rocking a 3400 dpi and 50 in game and Faker with the 1800 DPI 80 in game. Doublelift also recently talked about how Faker and Perks dodge skill shots on his stream, and having high DPI helps them reposition their mouse quickly. I wonder how much his uh, DPI is. Like, I actually learned from Faker, but I learned that like really high DPI is actually good because it lets you like positionally change your mouse like fast. So if you're like aiming a skill shot and you want to flash backwards, having a really high sensitivity helps you a lot. It, it helped me. It helped me. I actually learned majors when I was trying to, but like. Let's say Perks is here and the opponent is here. Then Perks, he aims his mouse between him and the enemy champion. And I used to aim like this. I used to, I used to like over aim, like, like my mouse is like well past the enemy champion and I'm kind of like swerving my mouse like this. And then I noticed like all the best mage players or like most of the mage players that I watched, they'll aim their cursor really close to their champ. I don't really know why that is, but it does help me aim. I think um, well, I mean, the closer you are, the easier it is to, to change directions, right? Yeah. You have to move yeah, your mouse a lot less. Like, yeah. Yeah. It makes sense if you think about it, as long as you can control that level of speed. If you find yourself overshooting with your mouse, then it might be too much. But if not, then you're just build different. Some players also choose to play on windowed mode, which means they have less distance to travel on screen. But from my experience, a lot of those windowed mode players have very high DPI. It might be to reduce the area you have to watch or other reasons, but it's pretty crazy watching some of the best players in the world play using only half their screen. So my takeaways from this little project of mine are our league favors much higher DPI than I would have expected. If you can handle the speed, then bump that up in practice. And maybe you'll have a taste of what it's like to be showmaker. Also, make sure you have enough space for your mouse pad to allow your mouse full movement from one side of the screen to another, especially on lower DPI. Finally, a couple quick ways you can improve your mouse accuracy. Aim Labs on Steam for mouse precision can help you not suck at clicking the right place. In the same vein, playing games like Osu will help you get used to your new settings much faster than just playing league games, in my experience. But remember to also put the time into your camps with your new settings. It kind of sucks at first when you change settings, but once once you find what's right for you and you like it, you'll find your ceiling climb and be dunking on people in no time. Just uh, keep working on the muscle memory and you'll never fail a Lee Sin combo ever again. Finally, don't chase a streamer or a pro's settings just to copy them. Use what you've learned in this video to create the best setup for your needs and I guarantee you, you'll get more out of your gear than before. If you enjoyed this video, check out my ultimate warding guide or some of my champion specific videos here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next